Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and today we are going to be talking about how to change the banner to a different image when on a mobile device. So on some of your headers, you may have an image like this where there is a face or some sort of design um, that you want to be in a specific location on the banner and when the your site resizes, you maybe don't like how it looks when it gets to a mobile device or a tablet or something like that. So my first suggestion when you've uploaded your image is in the banner section to play around with this dot and where you want it to zoom in. So on this image, I've changed it to just over the side of her face and that tells the image where you want it to zoom as it changes for different screen sizes. So you can see on this one as it gets smaller, it shifts the image because I've said I wanted it to zoom in here. So this one doesn't actually look too bad on your mobile, depending on what text you would have in your, your banner here. But let's say I wanted to change that image to something different just when it's on a mobile devo device. So you're gonna go to design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the following code. If you've watched any of my other videos on mobile friendliness, you'll notice or recognize this code. This creates breakpoints so the computer knows um, where to set up or when to apply this code for the different screen size. Okay, so if you have any code you want to apply just to the tablet, you would put it in between here. We're going to be working in mobile, so we're going to apply our code in between these two lines. So now copy and paste the following code into this section between the grayed out areas for mobile. So now what we're going to do is change where it says page URL to the URL of this section. So we're going to click on settings, highlight the URL of this section, and change it to hashtag, and in this case it'd be welcome. Okay. So what this does is it kind of does a little bit of a workaround. So I haven't found a way to call on the background image within Squarespace. So what I've had it do is hide all of the images in this section and then ask it to show any of the images that have this Squarespace block image tag in there, um, which the background image does not. Um, so this is how I've kind of gotten around that. Then I've asked it to add um, a background image of a URL, which we're going to input in a minute with no repeat and make it a size of 100%. So to tell it which image we want it to change to, you're going to click edit, hover over the section and insert an image block, and then upload the mobile image that you would like. and then click apply. So you notice this image just has a little bit more um, above and below her face to create that vertical picture that would be on a mobile. So I'm just gonna click save. It doesn't matter what this image looks like because we're gonna delete it back out. We just need to know what the URL of this image is. So we're gonna click save, right click on this image and click open in a new tab. copy the URL and then in between the quotation marks you're going to paste that URL and click save. Then you're going to click edit and delete the image back out because we no longer need it. Click save. So now what you should see is on your desktop version you have my I have my original image so just her her face and same with on tablet, but then when it goes to cell phone or the mobile, you'll see it kind of zooms out to that second image that I had added. So just to recap, your first step is to go to the banner and make sure that you play with this to see if you can do it without uh, code, that's probably that's the best. So play with that to see if you can get it to zoom in how you like. If not, you're copying and pasting the media inquiry copying and pasting the code in between the mobile tags, 
editing the page URLs and then the image URL. And that is how you alter the background image to be different when on a mobile device.